Hey skiers and snowboarders of the southeast, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and as we expected and they finally got here, the cold air has arrived. All the resorts in the southeast are starting to make snow, especially Beach Mountain and Snowshoe, I know this morning as of this recording, which is about 8 a.m., but as we go through the day, temperatures are going to continue to fall, so I think we'll see some snow making up and down the whole chain. You can see temperatures in the mountains from western Maryland all the way down to North Carolina mountains are in the 20s and 30s this morning and they're not going to be warming up all that much today because this cold front that finally made it to the coast is ushering a big area of Canadian high pressure. This is the coldest air uh, for the entire country that we've seen so far this season. You can see those temperatures in the teens and 20s on the backside. So as we go into tonight, we actually are going to see some pretty cold temperatures. This is the GFS model and watch these temperatures tonight a drop into the teens and 20s in the mountains. So tomorrow morning, really, really cold. So ideal, I mean, picture perfect snowmaking conditions tonight. And with the capacity that these resorts have, even though they were bare uh, in North Carolina especially, they're going to be able to lay down enough snow overnight that I expect a lot of resorts will open up tomorrow. Um, and they'll be able to make snow most of the day tomorrow, um, maybe a couple hours in the middle of the day as it warms up. So they'll be adding to it as well. I think Sunday morning might be the best morning for skiing because it's going to get cold again Saturday night with temperatures in the teens and 20s. So you're going to have two really good days of snow making. So Sunday will probably be the best uh, conditions after we see a couple days of snow making. Now the bad news is obviously it warms up next week but I wouldn't be too worried about this warm-up because there are signs that this is going to be a brief warm-up uh, pre-Christmas. It'll likely melt a lot of the snow but there are signs that we're going to see a pattern change after Christmas into the new year as I talked about earlier. But let's talk about the snow because on top of the cold temperatures there's actually going to be a little bit of natural snow um, and I hinted at this earlier in the week. This is the NAM 4 model. Uh, we'll go through tomorrow afternoon. You can see up and down the chain here um, some pretty good snow. Let me go out to tomorrow afternoon uh, from Wisp down through parts of West Virginia. And again, these totals aren't too shabby, one to two, three inches. For this season, that's pretty decent. This might be the first measurable snow in December for Snowshoe. I think they've had zero or an inch, something like that, that which is you know a record low. And in North Carolina, we've had no snow at the resort. So Beach and Sugar Mountain looking at maybe one, one to two inches and a dusting down towards Cataloochee. So some really good news. We're finally starting to see the cold air move in and we're going to get a little bit of natural snow. Uh, hold on. We've got one more warm up before Christmas. I don't think Christmas Day skiing is going to be all that great in the southeast. But as we go into the new year, there are signs the pattern is going to change at least to near average temperatures and maybe a more active storm track. We'll get into more of that next week. But the good news, let's focus on the cold snow making conditions and a little bit of snow for the weekend. I hope you have a great weekend. Think snow and let's get this warm pattern out of here.